Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zombie Slayer here and I'm back with another unboxing. This time it is a very, very special one to me. Now, the last time I have owned a Glock was actually when I was around 18, 19 years old. And then I sold mine and didn't have one for a while. I used to own the Glock 19 Gen 3. And then I ended up actually switching to the Palmetto State Dagger which has been my everyday carry. But ever since then, I've wanted to fill the void and I still have been wanting a new Glock. And then ever since then, you guys know that the Gen 4 dropped and then now we have the Gen 5. So here is the Gen 5 Glock 19. Now this is just the regular one. So I picked this up at Cabela's yesterday. It was Easter Sunday. You can actually get these on sale right now. I believe they still extended the sale. So you can actually get these for around $540 brand new before tax and all of that. You will have to do a $10 background check if you get it through Cabela slash uh, Bass Pro Shops. So keep that in mind. And then tax was like $30 on this. So all in all, it was like just under $600. So as you can tell on the side, they safety checked it, which they did in front of me. So that is opened. And then when you leave the store, they actually make sure to put this uh, tamper evident tape on to make sure that uh, no one has gotten in it besides you. And they also, if you've never purchased a firearm at Cabela's, they also make you walk out with the box out like this. You got to walk out with the Glock out, guys, literally. You have to show the tamper evident tape and you cannot have the firearm in a bag or in a box when you leave the store. So that being said, we're going to do a quick unboxing on her see what's up with her i don't have too much space to work with here so just keep that in mind as you can see it says right here g19 gen 5 you got some of the information you get three 15 round magazines inside and it says that everything inside is about five and a half pounds so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this at the bottom So there's that. And then here you guys see the little Glock tabs, Glock Perfection. Just pop them tabs open. And then the box will open right up. I'm gonna try to get the best angle for you guys, like I said. Um, I probably will have to turn it. I'm working with limited space right now. So I will do like a side turn on this video. So here's what's all included when you open up the box. Right out of the box, I see that I have one of the magazines right here. Now I went with the 15 plus one. So you got 15 in the magazine, which is all labeled out very nicely. And then you got one in the chamber, which you can hold on to. So on the side of the Glock mags, here they are. Let you know where you're at with your ammunition. And then just for a, a quick comparison, here is a mag pull mag. So the bottom is definitely a little thicker on the mag pulls. But anyways, here's the OG Glock mag. And then this one also as well comes with a mag loader. If you want to load your magazine up very quickly, efficiently, they come with a little Glock mag loader. So that's a very nice little feature that they throw in there. And this actually does include three magazines. You do get another one right here on the firearm, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep showing you guys what else is laid out in the bag, I mean in the box. Here is, you have a cleaning tip and a cleaning rod to get into your firearm, keep it nice and clean. It is nice that they throw in a couple few extra tools because you know some other companies don't throw stuff in. So Glock likes to throw a few extra accessories in, which I've always liked. Here you have one of the, uh, key for the, I believe these are for, yeah, for the key lock, which they have locked right here, which needs to be opened up. Right here, you have a separate lock as well that they have bagged up, all, um, all orange colored. Now, some people are wondering if it has a Glock logo on it. I'm not seeing one on the lock itself on the front or back. Let me check the engravement in the bottom. Not that I can see, no Glock logo, might just, might just be like a standard lock that they include, but 
there that's included. Let me know in the comments if you guys use your lock or not. I know that's pretty controversial cop topic as well. I know a lot of people do use them, but a lot of people don't. I'm always curious. Let me know. And then here is the Glock. We'll leave the best for last. Also, here is a little pamphlet that they give you to show you how to like take the pin off and all that stuff. So they throw that in there as well as a few pistol grip options. If you don't like what's available on the Glock, you can actually change out, or oh, actually dropped a piece of it. You can actually change out the back for the texture plate. So you got a few options on those, which is super, super nice. They are polymer, just like any other Glock. So you get two of those. And then also included in there is the Thule which you're gonna need. And then the best for all is the Glock 19 Gen 5. Here she is. She definitely feels really, really good in the hand. I'm liking the new, uh, the new texture right here. And I know that people love that they took the finger grooves off, which for some people, they loved them. Some people didn't, but we all know that that was a big problem for a lot of people. So they decided to take that off. Now we just got the flat pistol grip, which is super, super nice. Here you got the mag release. So that is the third magazine that's included with the Glock 19. Very, very nice. Feels good. As you guys can see, all these firearms are unloaded for YouTube purposes and safety purposes. Finger off the trigger as well. Now, they also included a couple new features, if you guys did not know. Now, they actually rounded off the bezels on the side, which you can compare it to, like, um, the dagger, Palmetto State Dagger. They call it the Extreme Carry Cuts. So, as you can see, they kind of cut out these sides now compared to, like, the Glock 3, Gen 3. So, now it's easier to holster, or you can take it out easier, tiny bit easier to conceal. So that is a very nice feature that I actually enjoyed about the Glock 19 Gen 5. I probably will take this off here in a minute. Let me try to hop it off for you guys. So we can get some of this trigger action. Now you normally just turn these, 